know this is true of all truck drivers. I don't know of one that doesn't think this doesn't agree with me on this. Hey Siri, turn on the flashlight. Well, we're going to do something a little different today. Uh, well, we're not. We're going to like, we're going to basically do the same thing as every other day. <laughs> but I'm going to try to do the format of the video a little different because we got to go to North Hudson, New York with Salt, which is up in the Adirondacks, like exit, almost exit 30. We've got to get off exit 29 and go up North uh, Route 9 for a little ways. So it's basically the same thing as we've been doing. Uh, and then after that, we gotta go to Granville, do too clean, too dirty. So we're almost done with that, guys. That goes till like March sometime, they're saying. So we'll get some new stuff. Some of you guys like the Granville videos. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> I guess to me, because I do it every day, it's not very interesting. But some of you guys have been saying that you like that. But since we'll be doing it for probably another month still um today's video i'm going to do something a little different i want to do the five five things that truck drivers want you to know uh and, and this comes from a, a couple of messages i've got and, and a couple of things that i just think about on a day-to-day -day basis that me and, and a few others that have got a hold of me would like the general public to know about us so, we'll head up to North Hudson with this salt, we'll get that dumped off, and then uh, we'll do the Granville, Granville deal, but I'll probably concentrate more on, uh, on those five things. So, um, probably be more of a talking video today, might be boring to some of you guys. I, I think that's, I thought you guys would be bored with the talking stuff. But again, I've, I've had a couple people get a hold of me and say that they like listening to the conversation. So I guess in an effort to, to try to please everybody, we'll, and because of the, doing the Granville again, we'll, do, uh, we'll try to get these five, five things done that uh, me slash truck drivers want the general public to know about us. So trucks get warmed up. Do a little paperwork here. We got Randy over here next to us. He's going with us up to North Hudson. Um, with salt. He's working on some stuff in the truck. So we'll get out of here and get rolling north. <laughs>
made it down to Fort Edward. We did that dump up in uh, North Hudson, New York, up in the Adirondacks. Not too far up. Uh, we got down here pretty early. It's wide open. Just got to wait for Randy to load and uh, then take this up to Granville. But like I said, since I'm doing Granville again, uh, I know some of you guys like Granville. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's just because I do it all the time. I assume that you guys are going to be bored with it. Uh, but I'll get, I'll get more at Granville, I'm sure. We'll be there for a while. But I wanted, like I said, I wanted to change the format here a little bit. In today's video, I'm going to do more of a the five, like I was saying, the five, uh, five things that truck drivers want you to know. If you have any other, if you're a driver and you have any other ones that you want to be mentioned, leave a comment or get a hold of me on Instagram or something and uh, maybe I'll put together another one of these. We'll see if you guys like these type of videos. I'll throw one in once in a while. Uh, I'll definitely go back. I like the creativity of the other videos I do with the music and the, and the slow motion and all that stuff, but I'll throw one of these in once in a while just to break up the, the same old time, time lapse, dump tell you where I am more time lapse load up more dumping so we'll see how it goes but uh, anyway we're down here at Fort Edward uh, and the first one I wanted to mention and it happened just now before I got here is just follow the rules of the road and the reason I say that is and I'm sure most of you guys most of you drivers appreciate it when cars do this and I, and I appreciate it too but, like for instance, when I came here, I had to make a left at a light. And there was a car coming from the other way. So we met at the light, and they were making a right. Now right turn has the right of way. So I was prepared to wait for this car to make the right turn, and then I was gonna make the left behind them and carry on my way. Well, what happened was this car, and they were just trying to be nice, but this car stopped, and now they're flashing me to go in front of them. And as much as I appreciate that and them trying to help me out, it screws up everything, the gear I'm in, all what I got in my mind, I got in my mind what I want to do on this corner based on the rules of how the road is supposed to go. So when you do that, it throws it all off. I mean, don't get me wrong, we appreciate like if, if you help us out, if we're trying to get into the fast lane to get around a slow vehicle or something, and you back off or you speed up a little bit to get by us so that we can get over. We, we, in certain situations, it, it, it really does help us. But there's other situations, like with this red light issue, um, it kind of screws us up more than anything. So, uh, and another one, there was like a 90 degree corner that I had to make on a two lane road. And uh, the car coming at me, we met in the corner and the car coming at me stopped. And, and I know what they were doing. They were trying. They stopped so that I could get through. But they stopped right at a spot where I needed to put the tractor so that my trailer didn't hit. There's posts along the corner. So I needed to go right where they stopped. So again, as much as I appreciate them doing that for me, it kind of screwed me up more. Now I had to stop, and now they're looking at me like I'm being a jerk. And they just, I think sometimes people don't understand what's going through our minds what we're you know we're looking ahead and we're, I mean we I don't know I hate to say all this because we do appreciate you guys helping us and looking out but sometimes it hinders us hinders us more than it helps us so just something to keep in mind so that's the first one I wanted to mention just uh I mean we appreciate the help but try to just follow the rules of the road and we'll work around it for the most part all right, Randy's getting loaded up. Then I'll back in, I'll get loaded up, we'll take it to Granville. All right, we're all loaded up. Let's go scale out. And, uh... Get up to Granville. All right, we're rolling. We're headed north. We're all scaled out. We're a tad heavy. On this one, so we're gonna have to do some tiptoeing through town. Well, we made it to Granville with the first one. Let's see what the situation is here. Let's see how 
muddy it is. Not looking horrible. It's not looking horrible. All right, the second thing I wanted to talk about is uh, if I can do this while I'm getting the trailer opened up. Kind of goes along with the first thing with like road etiquette. When you're, when we're on the highway, it really drives me nuts. When I'm on the highway and I come up to a slow moving vehicle, that's fine. I don't care how slow you're going. But if you're doing 50 and I'm doing 65 on the highway and I try to get in the fast lane to go around you. Now, typically there's a couple of trucks I gotta wait for or there's a, a line of cars or something I gotta wait for. Don't forget, don't open this without getting ready. And uh, so now it's like work to get into the, the fast lane to get around you sometimes. And it kills me when you do all that work to get over to the fast lane to get around you. And then you go from, oh, that's rough talking and doing all at the same time. It kills me when you do all that work to go around you and then when I get up next to you, you decide that you're going to do 75 on the highway. I don't care. We, we, I know this bothers other drivers too. We don't care how fast you're going. We really do. I don't care if you're ahead of me or behind me. But pick one. Because now I got to get back over in the slow lane because you took off. And there's usually somebody that was impatient behind me so they went into the slow lane to go around me on the right. And then by that time, I'm at a hill or something, <laughs> and I can't get rolling again. So just set your cruise control and go, will you? Oh, God. That would be nuts. So that's number two. Let's get this up in the air, get dumped off here at Granville. And keep rolling. One more of these. All right, we're out of here. Back to old Fort Edward scissor hands. All right, we're back here, Fort Edward, to get loaded up to do the last round here. Um, but point three I wanted to make is how people look at truck drivers. And uh, I don't mean like stare at us. Well, some of them. But people have an idea that truck drivers are scumbags. Um, they got this picture in their head, they're big fat slobs, whistling at women, and uh, I like women though, I do like women, but I don't whistle at them, there's a difference, you know, not all truck drivers are what they're portrayed as on television, um, some of us dress nice, I mean I don't dress fancy, but I try to put a nice shirt on and a clean pair of jeans, you know. Uh, and there's a handful of people. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna get that. There's three and a half million truck drivers in America. Um, so of course you're gonna get some people that don't take care of themselves. They probably stink. But for the most part, I'm guessing. But I'd say probably 70% of us take pride in what we do, and uh, we're proud of our jobs. So we try to take care of ourselves and. We try not to be pigs on the road when people are driving by. and It's not TV kind of, and word of mouth, I mean, people are, everybody's in a hurry now, you know, so if a truck pulls out in front of them, oh, it's a scumbag truck driver. Nobody likes to be stuck behind a truck. I get it. We're slow. It takes us forever to get moving. But we want to get home just as bad as you do, so it's not like we're doing it on purpose to you. So, I don't know, I wanted to touch that, touch on that, because we kind of get a bad uh, 
people like the stereotype truck drivers. But like I said, there's some bad ones. I mean, there's, you can't, but out of three and a half million drivers out here, how are you going to not have a couple of bad ones? Now, unfortunately, they give a bad name to the rest of us. But, yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of guys out here that take pride in what they do and take care of themselves and have families back at home and they want to look decent, you know, and they want people to, so like back in the old days, um, well, like I, all the old days, I'm only 35, but back when I was young, oh God, I sound old, back when I was young, I used to look up to truck drivers and a lot of kids did, a lot of people did in general, and I think it's changed now. People don't really, they, they look at us like we're a, a pain, like we're in their way. Um, just, I don't know. It's the whole, I think it's the whole sweatpants and sandals look that some of these guys do. And I get it. You guys are on the road for a month at a time. I know, you're just trying to be comfortable, but I don't know. I guess they should take a little pride in what they do. Or maybe they don't care. Maybe they're not happy with what they do. I don't know. But you can tell the difference between the people that are happy doing what they do and, and who is proud of what they do. And you can tell the difference from the ones that are not. And unfortunately, the ones that are not are the ones that give the rest of us a bad name. So, that's what I would like the general public to know. We're not all scummy. We don't all stink. Um, we don't all have stains all over our clothes. It's just we try to take care of ourselves. I mean, there's days, you know, if I got to work in the shop or if something breaks down, you know, I might get some grease on me. But that's part of the part of what we're doing. But you know, you, you go home and, and and clean that, and that's that's that. And I guess there's a handful out there that don't care to clean that and to wear those same clothes for a week straight. So. There are bad apples in the barrel, but not all of us. So I thought that was something I should mention. All right, we got about, let's see, we're, uh, oh, we got a couple more buckets here. I gotta go out and check and see how it's getting loaded and stuff. So we'll, uh, we'll get out of here, head back to Granville, dump this, reload one and come back. So let's keep her moving. 10.45, we're rolling. Well, we're all dumped. We got the clean stuff dumped here for the last one. We're in here in the tent now, getting loaded up with our last dirty one. Uh, for the next one here, uh, oh, <laughs> I love when people say, they ask me, how are you tired? All you do is sit all day. And it always makes me laugh because I don't really have any way to explain it because you kind of do sit a lot. But we're, uh, I mean, in this, different trucking is different. I mean, like tanker stuff, you got to hook up hoses. You got to, you're, you're active um, with flatbed stuff. You're tarping loads. You're strapping loads. You're, you're doing a lot. And with the dump trailer stuff, sometimes we got to sweep or in my couple videos ago, I was showing you how to, that I was putting poly in the back. I mean, it's nothing strenuous. You're not out here going crazy, but you you are doing something. But the majority of it, even for guys that don't have to do any of that, your mind is going a million miles an hour all the time. You're watching what's going on in front of you. You're watching for, like, there's a kid running out the driveway. You're watching that. Uh, there's a car on the side of the road. Somebody's broke down. Somebody's driving at you in your lane. Um, I mean, you're, you're con your brain is constantly going from the minute you leave the driveway to the minute you get back. There's no break. You get no break. Except for, well, I guess you do get a break. I mean, like when you're getting loaded. But even then, like I'm thinking about weights. I'm watching my mirrors to make sure nothing happened in here. See, I can't get out of the truck in here, so i got to watch in the mirrors. But other times you'll be out of the truck watching how he's loading you, climbing up, making sure it's in the middle. Uh, it's not. There's not boulders hanging off over the side of the trailer there's a lot that you're doing so you're tired after a 10 hour day 12 hour day you're tired you get home and, and i'm beat 
Like, I'm ready to eat, take a shower, and go to bed mainly, or at least sit down and watch a show or something. So you work. You definitely work. It's just different. You're not hauling lumber all day or or putting brick, you know, building, like doing masonry work. You, you're, it's a different type of work, but you're doing it. So I, I don't know. I always That was something I wanted to bring up because I always thought it was funny how people always ask me, how are you tired from sitting all day? Well, it's, it's tiring. All right, that's that one. We're, we're getting loaded here. We got a little ways to go yet. And I'll take this back down to Fort Edward Scissor Hands. Get unloaded. And uh, no, I don't know what. I think I got an axle seal starting to leak on the truck, which is really no big deal. That happens over time. Um, just have to put a new, new gasket in it when I get back. And, uh, so we got to keep an eye on that as we're doing our thing. But this is like the last one here. This is pretty much it for the day. We got an early start, so we're going to have kind of an early afternoon, I think. It's uh, quarter to 12, quarter to noon. So doing good. Get back down south after we dump this and see what's next. You're all set, George. All right. We're all done. Fort Edward. Now we gotta. Now we're done. We go back to the shop. Uh, they want to get that wheel seal fixed. I don't blame them. So, and I'm done with what I had to do anyway. So it worked out just in time. So we'll head back there and get that fixed, fuel everything up. But the last one, and maybe the most important topic is as truck and I know this is true of all truck drivers I don't know of one that doesn't think this doesn't agree with me on this but teach your kids to do the arm pump for the air horn we, we absolutely love this and it really makes our day when a kid does that. And uh, also, it teach, I don't know, it gives, kid, kids don't like trucks anymore, it seems like. Like there is, but it doesn't seem like young kids care anymore about it. And it's really a great career. And not all of them are gonna end up being drivers, but um, it's kinda cool to, it would be kinda cool to see uh, Jeez, what a difference this length of this makes. I'm still getting used to it. Uh, anyways, it still gets... <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Just do the arm pump. Teach your kids to do the arm pump because we love it. And that's something that we want you guys to know. If you're not a driver yourself. Have your kids do the arm pump. It means a lot to us. It means a lot to them if they're into it. And... Uh, That's it, I guess. So we're all done. If you guys, uh, I don't know if you're going to like this video. There's not much action in it. It's pretty much just me blabbing the whole day. So, I don't know, Thursday we'll get something better. But we're do doing the same thing. Like I said, we're doing the same thing again today. So, the Granville thing. You want it. Oh, here we go. Look at you can't do one day, no matter what you're doing with the camera, you can't go one day without that radio going off. And I forget to turn it down every single time. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you're gonna like this video or not. It's it's quite a bit different than what I usually do. I'm definitely not giving up on the other ones. I, I like doing them a lot better. Um, but I've had some people mention to me, like I said this morning, I've had some people mention to me that they enjoy me talking about stuff and I bore myself and I can't imagine anybody would want to listen to me yak all day but there's all sorts of different people out there I guess so we'll try to squeeze one of these in every now and then for those people and, uh, and we'll get back to you on uh, Thursday I think so thanks for watching, appreciate it. I'm gonna go back, get done for the day, go home, it's an early day, do some editing, grab something to eat, and uh, that's Tuesday.